How's it? Indian Cowboy Doc Sports.com connect on Sunday, March the 24th, as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second. <laughs> Another win on TCU Utah. TCU Utah State over was on Friday. I believe we gave you another free pick winner uh, yesterday as well. Let me go back and double check it. Uh, I don't want to be wrong, but uh, I believe it was a solid winner. Yeah, it was on Illinois uh, as they routed Duquesne. So that brings us to, you know, a solid, uh, let's see, back-to-back -back free pick winners. And uh, we try our best every single day for you. I hope you appreciate the content. We put a lot of time into it. So back-to-back -back winners there, 2-0, and 5-1, 7-2. Uh, 10 and 3. Obviously, subscribing to Doc Sports is a great value for you. Get all these free pick winners. But uh, looking forward to your uh, your video today. Hello, I'm going to be quick on it though. It is a Sunday afternoon. So, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for a cool uh, 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Our best selections are at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Our next best selections are free picks and our leans on our daily video, which you're watching right now. If you can't get enough of us, we have a YouTube premium channel for $20 a month, which we come at you live on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, actually, it's it's more of Wednesdays and Thursdays these days. Wednesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m., where we teach you how to fish and how to look at algorithms in depth. It's basically where we teach you how to fish. Uh, we slowly go through 10 games that you choose, and then you get the first look on the next day's ball games. Incredible value, uh, great community, recorded podcast that is summarized at the end. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section, as well as a link to how to get your free $60 worth of premium selections. If you want even more content, be sure to check our Twitter. It has our latest updates, hot takes, our uh, popular consensus reports, and our most recent videos uh, are posted there. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. What do I need to tell you? Well, we have a seven-unit NBA selection at 7 o'clock, five-unit college basketball selection at 9 o'clock. NBA back-to-back -back winners, we gave you the four-unit Kings plus the two-and-a-half outright over the Magic yesterday. We also, on that was on Saturday, eight-unit winner on Friday with the Pelicans plus the three over the Heat outright winner. So back-to-back -back NBA winners, we have a seven-unit NBA winner tonight at 7 o'clock. Nice five-unit winner on Seattle and college basketball yesterday. Hopefully, we'll make it back-to-back -back college basketball winners with another five-unit selection today. Just one selection, but we like it, and uh, as long as we go one and know, we're happy. Baseball starts in four days. Excited about the baseball season, so let it be college basketball, baseball, NBA, hockey, soccer, golf, MMA, or the horses. Uh, we look forward to joining all of us. We had a down week in the MMA this week. Uh, we were plus 5,800 on the season in the MMA, and now we're down to plus 5,200. Looking forward to next week in the MMA. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. And I like UNLV plus the point, or uh, UNLV minus the points here, minus a three and a half. And I know people are taking Boston College, and I'm okay with it. People are not respecting UNLV, and I think that's a mistake. I think UNLV is much better than people are giving them credit for, and I'll take them the minus three and a half here. At the end of the day, UNLV is a team. Uh, who do you think cares more about this game? UNLV, who beat Princeton on the road? And who, I can tell UNLV cares because they went to Princeton and they beat them on the road. They didn't have to win that game. Princeton could have gotten up to face UNLV. Um, this is a team that beat Creighton by double digits. And as good as Boston College is, they lost to Virginia, who has proven themselves to be horrible. Um, I respect UNLV. I think they get up to face the ACC school. And at the end of the day, UNLV has some has a pretty nice resume. I understand they've lost to some really crummy teams like Loyola Marymount and um, even Air Force at one point, and even Southern as the opener. But this is a team that beat Creighton by double digits, that beat New Mexico, that beat Boise State, that beat New Mexico twice, that beat San Diego State. I respect UNLV, and I'm going to back them here. Minus the three and a half. Or even you might even get three as the public continues to knock this down, but we'll grade this at three and a half. I also like Clemson here, plus the points against Baylor. Clemson finally a big win in the tourney. Uh, they haven't had a big win in the tourney for Coach Bromwell in a while. They've you know, beaten Rick Pitino in New Mexico um, as well, routing them, lost in the first round to Boston College, which was the big motivator for Clemson, right, in the conference tournament. Uh, they also had back-to-back -back games. They also lost back-to-back -back games coming in. But this is a Clemson team that beat UNC that should have beaten Duke but didn't get that call late in the game because Duke always seems to get the calls there. Um, the only person that didn't that uh, didn't allow them to do that was Coach Capel because he's a Duke alum. When he coached at Pittsburgh, they got the calls there. Uh, Pittsburgh did. But at the end of the day, with three seniors, you know, Baylor did beat Colgate. Uh, but bad draw here because Clemson's a hungry, hungry team. I'll take Clemson plus the points. They're a very good defensive team. And frankly, I think Baylor can lay eggs at times. So I like Clemson. I like VCU against South Florida Day. VCU beat Villanova by nine. Huge win coach by Ryan Odoms, former Utah State coach. Uh, VCU lost to Iowa State and Boise State by four points, mind you. Um, so they're a good team. So I think VCU can hang tough here on the road against South Florida. Ryan Odom is a dynamic coach. If you can beat Villanova, why not? Why can't you beat South Florida? Um, 
I think VCU has a great shot of winning outright. Great public fade. Give me VCU. Texas A&M and Houston. I'm going to go with Houston here. Houston already beat this team by four points early this year, and Houston did not take Texas A&M seriously. They will definitely take Texas A&M seriously this time, and they'll have the right game plan. I am winning by 14 or more. At the end of the day, A&M lost to South Carolina, Arkansas, and Vanderbilt. Hence, let me take Houston here. Um, Grand Canyon and Alabama. I like the over, and I like Grand Canyon, and I'm a diehard Alabama fan. This game should go over. Grand Canyon is probably going to be an active dog. I can't give you a lean on Grand Canyon because it hurts my soul, but I do think Grand Canyon does very well. It's a bad spot for Alabama. Grand Canyon is a top 50 defensive team. It makes sense here for an up and down game. Uh, I do think this game goes over the post of total. Uh, Grand Canyon, again, is a top 50 defensive team, and they beat San Diego State. They beat San Francisco, um, and you know this is in the regular season. And Alabama struggles against those teams like that. Remember, Alabama lost to San Diego State, and they would have they would have definitely looked the tape in that game. Lean on Grand Canyon. Coach Drew used to coach in the SEC at Vanderbilt, so he's got something to prove here too. So it's a bad spot for my tide, and I hate it. I actually think Grand Canyon might win. Uh, Northwestern Connecticut. Lean on Northwestern here. Northwestern beat Michigan State by 14 and beat Purdue this year almost twice. Uh, Northwestern is a good team. I like Northwestern here. I'm taking them plus the 12 and a half. They're a very mature team, very smart team. They're not going to be intimidated here. Um, this is a team that uh, got their much awaited NCAA win for Chris Collins last year. Um, you know, it's Northwestern plus 12 and a half points on a total of 136 is totally worth it. You're almost getting 10% of the total value of the game before it starts. Lean on Northwestern. Yale, San Diego State. Give me San Diego State. I think Yale played like garbage in their conference tournament and they stepped up against the SEC champ Auburn and they won, but that's a bad look for Auburn and the SEC if their champ ends up, regular season champ ends up losing, or not regular season champ, but their conference champ. Having said that, Brian Dutcher's team had their issues against UAB, but barely won. There is no way San Diego State looks past Yale, especially after Yale beat Auburn. I think San Diego State plays much better in this game and wins by 10 or more. Finally, Pacers and Lakers. I'm going to give you a lean on the Lakers here. They won by 17 points last time earlier this year. I know the Pacers have revenge, but Indiana beat Golden State and Detroit. Indiana rarely wins three in a row, and the Lakers are well aware that Indiana just throttled Golden State, and they control Golden State by beating Indiana immediately in their next game. That is what I have for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, that's a decent number of free picks for you today. What is that? About eight free picks. I uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Seven unit NBA this evening at seven o'clock. Five unit college basketball at six o'clock. Baseball starts in four days. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day. If you enjoy the content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Join us on our premium packages and our YouTube premium channel as well. Take care. Bye-bye.